How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, let's talk about the uh, Minnesota Twins today. So they went out to the Bronx over the weekend, and uh, they were just a shell of their former selves, in my opinion. Uh, wasn't really able to, uh, first and foremost, do the strongest thing that they're able to do, and we all know that's hit home runs and uh, drive-in RBIs. And they weren't looking like that 101-win team that we saw playing almost every game all season last year. And so uh, they weren't able to get it done. Swept in three games. Just a pitiful, um, pitiful, pitiful series. And just really tough to watch. I didn't watch too much of the latter version of game two. But I feel like it was game one. Uh, you know, we were, we were just not able to catch up and score enough runs, get enough hits to compete with the Yankees in game one. And then game two, we were done by the second inning. I mean, it was just over by the end of the second. So I pretty much gave up watching it in about the sixth or the seventh. It was just really tough to watch. And then, of course, um, you get to game three, which was last night in Minneapolis. And what happened there was, you know, Max Kepler, this was the game where he needed to step up, and he wasn't able to step up. He went uh, 0 for 10. And I believe the only time he really got on base was a walk in game two. And just a lot of strikeouts, a whole bunch of pop fly outs, leaving runners stranded. We had the bases juiced during the game, I think during the third inning last night. And we left all those runners stranded. Uh, all we were able to produce was one home run by Eddie Rosario. And it feel, felt like when he hit that home run, we were already... It was 5 nothing, and I think it was the sixth inning. And when he hit the home run, it was like, okay, big deal. <laughs> you know, run the bases. We finally got on the board. Um, it was just like, finally. It was one of those, like, oh, finally kind of deals. Um, so at least we didn't get shut out during the whole game as far as the score is concerned. So uh, we just weren't able to find our stride when it came to hitting and this is what our bread and butter is. We were doing this all season. We were the, we set a uh, record for home runs during the regular season, and that team did not show up. It's like, it's almost as if they completely choked. And um, I don't blame them. It's the big stage, and um, I don't know. Maybe the Twins just showed their true colors. Maybe they're just simply not ready to compete in the playoffs. You start over. Once you hit the playoffs, you start over. It's a whole new season for everybody. And we just weren't there. We didn't have it. We didn't have it in pitching. We didn't have it really in the bullpen, obviously. We didn't have it in hitting singles and doubles. We couldn't do, get any RBIs in. Uh, I think the only time that we were able to produce anything was during game one and that was when they were winning by four points already. And it's like, who cares about a solo home run to right field when you're already pretty much almost out of the game, you know? So it was really tough to watch. Uh, going into the off season, we know we need to get some pitching. Rocco Baldelli's got some work to do, and hopefully he can get this team back on track and start a new season. And we just need a couple aces, and Jose Barrios just isn't the answer. So hopefully we can go ahead and start the offseason with the numerous goals of obtaining some pitchers. And you don't need to spend huge money on getting pitchers, but we need an ace. We might even need two aces. Jose Barrios just isn't our guy. And somebody tell me why Kyle Gibson is still on this team. This guy is absolutely terrible. Um, one of the inside jokes I have with a few of my friends, uh, I always call him the last of the failures. And when I say the last of the failures, I mean, you know, the Paul Molitors, um, geez, uh, the Trevor Plouffe's, you know, I mean, he's, he's with that, those guys, uh, the Mike Pelfries of the Twins, um, the last of the failures. And Kyle Gibson is still there. He's terrible. He got rocked in game one. He had no business being out there. 
No business. I don't even think he would have played well in a AAA game. He was playing so terribly at the pro level. I'm like, how is this guy a pro ball player? Anyways, um, we know what we need to do in the offseason, and it's pitching. It's always been pitching. So um, you're just not going to get past that first-round hump unless you have a couple solid starters. And then a decent uh, couple of pitchers coming out of the bullpen. Maybe a new, uh, maybe a new lefty. So, uh, yeah, I think we know exactly what we need to do going to the off season. Let's hope, hopefully, uh, tackle all those, uh, all those options, and uh, hopefully bring in some new pitching talent in the off season because we definitely have the offensive talent for the most part. Uh, we just need to work on the pressure and what happens when uh, the pressure comes down on us because we choked essentially. It was embarrassing, very embarrassing. Anyways, I'm Davey, and that's my thoughts for the day. Have a good week.